What's up YouTube land? Today we are going and getting my second boat. It is a 1996 Key West Stealth. Yes, I own two Key West Stealths. That's how much I love these boats. And it's been sitting up for two years. So uh, we're going to go see how well I put it up and see if it works and get it going. Yeah. Why are we getting it going? I think um, I may try my hand at guiding this year. Um, I'm finally going to go get my captain's license, which I've been meaning to do for, I don't know, 10 plus years. And I think it's time we got to just pull the trigger on that and get that done. And then uh, we'll see what happens. I, 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 I think I think I can do it. I know she can do it. She's <laughs> been fishing with me for two and a half years now, quite often. And she'll have a couple months fishing by herself on the boat when we get her running. And she'll figure it out, find her stride. So. We'll see. Confidence is in you. So we've got to do some work to this boat that we're going to go get. <laughs> so there's a lot to do. So let's go get it and let's get the steering cable fixed and let, let's just see. Well, step one, right? We got to go get it first. So Many let, adventures. Let's of go. Siren and how. <laughs> <laughs> Staying in the vehicle, I'm gonna park here. That way you can move the truck if we get in trouble. Okay. Okay. So Hal's been asking what kind of charters I would want to run. And um, I don't know, that's, you know, like for his company, Inshore Charters, it's like there's no live bait, which is, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine with that. Um, he does a lot of sight fishing for trout and redfish, primarily. And honestly, I don't mind doing um, some of the things that he doesn't want to do. Um, some of the lesser skilled fishing, for example, um, like catching sheep's head and whiting and stuff like that. I don't mind doing that stuff. If that's what entertains people and that brings more business to the company, then I'm, I'm open to doing that, but like personally, I enjoy sight fishing. I love sight fishing for redfish. Um, I really enjoy the challenge of fly fishing, even though I'm not great at fly fishing, like at all. Yeah, I mean, I think that's where I would eventually excel because I enjoy that, but that's not to say that that's what I need to do. I'm open to anything, I guess. I'm just gonna do whatever makes the most sense. Or maybe I just do all of it. There's a tag for your boat trailer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go get your boat. How are the leaf springs? Well, we'll air up the tires and look. If we got two, we'll go grab a couple tires and put on it. Okay. As far as leaf springs, it's a torsion axle. so they should be fine. Alright, 
So you're gonna need a new trailer sooner than later. Oh. We need steering cable. We're gonna go see ET right now. Uh, we need the clamps for the push pole. We need we a do. push pole. We need, a, we need a push pole. We so need to put the prop on it. We have the prop. You do. You get my spare prop. So. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need coolers. So you need a 35 quart cooler for the seat, and then you need a 45 quart cooler for the sight casting platform. Do we need a sight casting platform, really? I think that might be your favorite fishing technique, the way you talk about it. So yes, you need a sight casting platform. And uh, other than that, a couple batteries and some fresh fuel, but we'll see what happens. Maybe the fuel in it's still good if I put it upright. Nope, not here. ET is never here. So that means we're not going to get the steering cable today. Maybe not. Yeah, can we get one anywhere else? Sure can. We can get them in Panama. Just if I got it from ET, I'd know it'd be right. Yeah. And maybe I could talk them into putting the cable on it. Can we do it? Yes. Okay. You can just do it better. Get it running. I'm sure it'll run. Then put the cable on it. Then take it fishing. All right. All right. So we're at West Marine. <laughs> That's where you go when you get a new boat. It, it is it? Yeah, or drag a boat out of somebody's yard like we just did. Okay, we're gonna look for a steering cable in here and uh, how much do you think it's gonna cost? Our first more child. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Yeah, if you just got the cable, if you got the uh, steering box too, that'd be awesome. Yes, you want it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Your boat's here, delivered for free. What do we need to do to get it started? Gonna get this sucker started hopefully tonight. I need to get a hot battery. You ready? Try to do this. All right, hot battery. So all I'm doing is hooking up a good battery off the, my other boat, the other step, and turning the key switch. It'll be for nothing. Okay, next day. <laughs> all right, so I've been at the marina all morning and um, it looks like I'm gonna pick up some work uh, selling boats and showing boats and be a good like part-time gig. I've, I've done some boat showing and selling that kind of thing before. So it's something I really enjoy. And uh, yeah, it, that'll, that'll be fun uh, alongside whatever else we have going on here so what's on your agenda what do you have going on all right i want to get this motor started and running on good gas so i need fuel line fuel line collapsed is that uh, expensive prob no no 10 bucks maybe for the marine grade yeah we're just getting line i'm gonna make a bulb 50 dollar thing because i have primer bulbs okay so i don't know 10 15 bucks and then we'll get it running off of a gas can and just let it sit there and run. It needs it. Needs it needs to just run. Ride. Yeah. All right. All right, are you ready? Yep, let's do it. I'm gonna change clothes. Okay, so yesterday I couldn't get it cranked because the fuel line had collapsed. So, went and bought a new fuel line, run it back up through the engine, and just run it straight in there instead of having all these connections like this right here. It gives a 
better, more streamlined, easier for the fuel to get to the motor. So that's all we're doing. Now we're gonna just stick it in a jerry can and see if we can't get her to start up. So what I'm doing is I assume there might be some bad gas in the fuel. That's my next thing. So I need to clean out all the bad gas and pump fresh gas in. So I'm tracing down fuel lines, trying to find the closest thing I can to the fuel rail to dump out as much of the fuel as I can. And I'll do that by pumping this. Just come out. Okay, so that's intake, it goes into there. All right, so that is figured out. UPS just showed up with a box. Ooh. I have hats, three hats? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this will be for you. Deep dive bar, I like it. Like that. Matches the other shirt they sent you. That's right. That one might be mine. That's Hawaii in camo. So if you get lost in banana fields, <laughs> I like it. Let's see. <laughs> oh, is it gonna match this bikini? Are we matching sunglasses? Pretty sure these are for Hal. Here, put these on your face. They are clear. Wow. They're not even on you right. It doesn't matter in see through them. Hmm. I like these. The Cortez. These are not glass. I like it though. Here, put these on your face. I don't want to touch them. I got greasy hands. <laughs> hmm. They're clear. They're making colors pop. That's why I keep looking around. And that's what you want, popping colors. They fit well. They fit me. Do you to hold this line and this green thing while I try to start the engine? Oh, so gosh. So you got to do both and use both hands. Okay. Sorry, I'll put the camera YouTube. down. Sorry, YouTube. All right, next day. Again. <laughs> We're on day three now of um, figuring out our summer work uh charter season for how it might be slow this year that's kind of what it's looking like so we thought it would be good to like tag team it and both of us run trips so that way when the season hits we are like maximizing the amount of trips that we run so i'm headed now to go look at a few boats that are up for sale um these are boats that i might be showing soon so it'd be nice to get like a rundown on them go through them at least one time in advance and, and see, you know, what's up with them. And a few of them I've actually looked at online because I was looking for boats. <laughs> and uh, so like one is the Van Dyne schooner and while the interior is, is not, it's not for us, but it's a beautiful boat and I can't wait to go through it. So, um, so yeah, this will be fun. I get to go, I get to go look at sailboats this morning. <laughs> so we figured out the problem with the boat. It's the fuel filter. Uh, gas set up in the uh, vapor box too long and made fuel fill, uh, fuel pump stop. So I got the fuel pump working. I'm going to clean it up and now we are on a park search for filters for a Honda where there's no Honda dealership. But it's Saturday. 
for some reason everybody likes to close down when everybody works on their boats, which is wicked. So. But we got a place right up here. Are we stopping at this place? Yeah. Oh gosh. Okay. We're gonna stop in here. We gotta find it. Closed? They are closed Monday through Friday. Oh, all right. So maybe we aren't getting this boat back together today. No, we're getting it back together today. What you doing? You gonna look up somebody else? Yeah, I'm calling weekends. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a haul. Oh my God, put the seatbelt on. that uh, Tim Luther used to shape open seas surfboards. I thought it was like one of those little ones in there. Wasn't it? Wasn't it like one of these? Uh, it's one of the older ones. It was right there somewhere. Yeah. Hi, this is Weeping Marine. Please leave a message or come by and come in and stay safe distance from others, and we will be happy to help you. They're not open. So. Alright. So, we're going to the place. What's the place? The place that's only in business because everybody else is closed on Saturday. Who? West Marine. Oh, gosh. Let's go give our firstborn child for an O-ring. All right, let's go. This is our starting point. This is all we need right here. Nobody's open, so apparently, I just looked online and like Harbor Freight has these like multi packs with like 400 O rings for like nine bucks. Is that big? So we're going to Harbor Freight? Yes. Yes. You like Harbor Freight? No, I just like that I can get 400 different O rings for $9. And I'm sure one of them will fit. Maybe. Maybe. So it's 225 pieces, but it's only that many sizes. None of those are going to help us. That may help me. Let me see it. You tear it. All right, so I got a new O-ring kit. So I'm gonna replace all the O-rings since I got a part in the vapor chamber, vapor box, depending on where you're from, I guess, what it's called. I'm gonna put this fuel pump housing and everything back together. Then I'm gonna hook everything up, put pro fuel to it, and see if I can make it work. Okay, I've got the intake back on, fuel systems primed. I uh, took the high pressure hose off and ran fuel through it. I've got the fuel pump working. Everything is kind of put back together, just enough to see if it'll crank. So, let's see if we can get it to pop on. <laughs> All right, so put it back together and let's run it on the water hose for a long time. <laughs> All I gotta do is put it back together and it runs. It's like the van now, like it runs, but it doesn't, it can't take it anymore. When can we take it somewhere? When we get a steering cable put in. Oh yeah, that's so all we gotta do is clean it up, put a steering cable in. <gasps> I'm gonna check the fuel in the gas tank. It may, might be bad. How much is the steering cable? 200, 250 bucks. Mm. And that's for the cheap one. 
Okay. You get the one we want, it's like 1200. Okay. All right. Anyway, so it runs. I'm a badass. Well, we'll see you guys next week. Bye.